Welcome back to Cooking with Lambo. Today, we're going to take that chicken that we brined up. We let it brine overnight, probably somewhere in the neighborhood around 15 to 18 hours. Uh, it's looking really good. So because we did brine the chicken, we have rinsed it because we want to batter it. Uh, but we will add no salt in any part of this. We've got plenty of salt going on right now. We're going to start. we got our three-part dredge. And the recipe is down below. I'll give you all the instructions you need. We are just going to coat the chicken in dredge number one. We're going to move him over to the club soda for our second part. And then we're going to finish him off in the cornstarch. And as you can see, I have several more pieces to go. We'll be back in just a few and I'll tell you the next step. Okay, so we've got all our chicken breaded. We got the pit barrel fired up. It's been going good. For this cook, guys, I'm not going to get into all the ins and outs of a pit barrel. There are plenty of videos out there to teach you guys that. I will say that I'm running this one wide open today. I've got my vent hole at the bottom wide open, and I've also got the rods out of it. Not going to be using any smoking wood today, just the charcoal. I uh, don't really want to get too intensive flavor. I want the fried chicken to be the star. I'm going to take cold grate. I don't want to preheat it. They are going to spray a little oil on it to keep these things from sticking. Get it in place. And now let's load the grill. This, we always cook the time, not temperature, or temperature, not time. <laughs> but uh, I will tell you, it's going to be probably about an hour cook here. We're going to check on these bad boys and do a little trick with them at about the half hour mark. I'm going to load the grill, and that's considered a flip. And then I think I'm going to take a sip, and I'll see you guys back here in just a little bit. Welcome back, everybody. Here we are. We're about halfway through the cook or so. We're starting to develop some crust here on the outside. Of course, this is not facing the flame. So what we're going to do is a little trick, because I really want to get the uh, skin nice and crispy. We're just going to hit this with a little bit of spray olive oil. Then we're going to flip them over. Oh, that's looking nice. Yeah. Might should have got out the big pit. Might do all over again. All this darn chicken that does not have any bones to it that I had to cook. That looks nice. That messed up leg will be mine. And we're going to flip these and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hit them with a little bit of that spray olive oil from our good friends at Bertoli. Now these two brontosaurus breasts, we're gonna try to flip them. That's a big piece of meat right there. Okay. We got everything flipped. I'm gonna give it a spray. Now, we've had our flip, we're gonna take a sip. Be back in a few. Welcome back, guys. All right, take a look and see what we got here. This is fried chicken on the grill. No grease, no oil, just nice, pretty golden brown. What we wanna do, again, we cooked the temp, not the time. We want this meat to be 165 to 170 internal. And we are there, and look at how juicy it is. That's that brine working for us. We're going to take these bad boys off the grill, and it's time to eat. Welcome back, guys. We're in the kitchen. We got pit barrel fried chicken, no oil needed, some mashed potatoes, some green beans. See y'all next time.